what is going on everybody if this is your first time at the channel welcome if you've been around watching my videos welcome back hopefully you're getting a little bit of good content out of these so today what we're gonna talk about is how to change colors using actions in Photoshop this has been a huge request and I apologize it's taken me so long it's been a little crazy so I'm gonna double this down not only show you showing you guys how to, to do the actions for this but how to put it into PicSnub so if you're using SPA spa sports photo automation whatever you're calling it you can automate this for different leagues different colors all in one batch hold on to your butts because it's gonna be a good one going on everybody so let's go ahead and dive right into this so I have a, a template up here now it, this is a send it's by third creative love this template we use this template all the time it's it's very versatile it's multi spore I mean you can really use it just about for anything so uh, just want to give a little shout out to uh, Don Ward and third creative for that so uh, there's a couple different pieces in here, right? So again, we're talking about changing the color automated without having to go through and actually change the color for every single template for every single sport and automating this piece so that way it'll do it for us. So first thing I want to do is one, find all the colors, right? So I've got this background color and then I've got a smoke layer color up here and that's that's what this one is. So this is the smoke layer, and then under our background layers is the actual background color. So, yes, I could go through, double-click here, change this to blue, hit OK, save this template, put it in the SPA, put it in the spa. And, and guys, I call it spa, so, it, you know, because it, it makes me feel good, right? Because uh, it's, it's doing all the work for me. So bear with me if, if you call it someone else, something else. So again, um, this is how you would change this, okay? Manually. But if we want to automate this, there's something we can do to do so. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the smoke color first. And I, and I want to change it. I'm going to use blue just because it's it's uh, kind of opposite end of the color spectrum. So it's, it's you'll be able to see the, the difference pretty quick, quickly. So I'm just going to click on the smoke layer. And then I'm going to come down here to our little tool panel. And this little half circle, I'm going to click on solid color. All right. And I'm just going to find the color blue. And obviously, uh, this is not <laughs> how we want to change our color, right? So, but bear with me here. Hit OK. All right, now we're going to do a clipping mask. So if you hold down Alt, now I am on Windows. I'm not a big Mac user. I, I just bought my first one. I know you guys are already telling me I'm converting. It's not true, but, you know, eh, they are fast. So if you hold down Alt, okay, and you hold your mouse in between the layer that you want it to clip to, you can click there, and now it's only going to apply to that layer, all right? So that's a clipping uh, clipping layer, or how to clip to that layer. Uh, and, and I can do another video on you know clipping and masking and all of that stuff if you guys are interested. All right, back to the color change. So what I wanna do is right click on this, and then I'm gonna convert this to a smart object, okay? But before I do that, I wanna show you guys the difference, okay? So if I double click on this color, it brings up our color, right? It's got a, a mask here, so I, I can you know uh, remove some of that, I can add to it, so on and so forth. When I convert this to a smart object, this becomes one, and when I double click now, it actually opens up this in a completely different tab, all right? So this is important for later, but I'm gonna show you why. All right, so then we're just gonna change 
the name of the color or of the layer to really whatever. I mean, it can be color one, it can be color two, uh, or you know, anything like that. But let, let's do it as color one to start because I also want to show you how you can start to do this with multiple color layers, not just one. All right. So first thing I want to show you is, is just this single color, how to change this. So let's go ahead, double click here. Now it brings up in, in that separate tab and we, we, it's exactly what we had before we converted it to a smart object. So now same thing, we can go here, we can go to green, hit okay. Now the difference is what we have to do is hit save and then close out of here and bada boom, bada bing, that saves, okay? So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna create an action, all right? So this action is, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna create a new set and we'll call this color test because I've already got my, my colors right here that I want them for. Um, and then I'm gonna create a new action. So if you're not familiar with actions, it's a little plus sign down here. And we're gonna call this, we'll call this blue. So we're gonna change this back to blue, all right? And actually, before we do this, you have to make sure that you're not selected on that smart object before you start the action. So I do apologize. So go back to blue, we're gonna hit record. Now, if you're not familiar with actions, every click I do is gonna be recorded into this action. So you want it to be as small and short as possible, so that way it's, it's as fast as it can be. So that's why we kinda of wanted to test this before we go through. And I've got a whole different thing on actions, so if you, if you guys wanna learn more about actions, look for my action video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click on this layer double click on this, and then we're gonna pick our color. So we're, we're basically just gonna go through that same process we did just to get to that green. Hit okay, we're gonna go file, save, and then close, and then that's gonna turn back to blue, all right? Go back to our actions and hit stop, all right? So now let's go ahead and create another action, and we're gonna call this, we'll call this one green, and we're just gonna repeat that process. And again, before you record, click off. I always forget to do that because the first part of the action, let me show you, is to select that layer. So if you're already selected onto that layer, it's not gonna know because if you're running it through SPA, it might not be selected on that layer and that's what's gonna glitch it. So you have to make sure that you're off of that layer before you start your action. So again, we'll click on color layer one, or color one, go here, change our color. We're gonna go back down to green. Okay, so after you've done this a time or two, this is very, very simple, all right? So we're gonna hit actions, and now we're gonna hit stop. Now, instead of going through that entire process, Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more ju just to kind of prove, you know, prove this point. All right, so let, let's do yellow. All right, so yellow. All right, we're going to hit record. Go through the same process. Do, do. There's yellow. Again, I'm going through this pretty quickly, but you, you can see it, it changes the colors nonetheless. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna stop that. So now when we come back to our actions, if I hit blue and I hit play, boom, it changes to blue. If I go to green, it changes to green. If I go to yellow, it changes to yellow. All right, so that's the speed of that. So, I mean, you can see how quickly I was doing it, but once you've done that a couple times and you get your all of your color profiles in there, as long as it matches the action and that layer name doesn't change, you can go ahead and switch it. Now, what about the back, okay? Well, here's the thing. There's two ways to do this. You may want the back to be different, a different color. You may want it to be the same color. So let's start out if it was the same color first. All right, so what I'm gonna do is copy this layer, but I'm not gonna control C, control V, all right? 
that is going that's going to copy the layer but it doesn't keep the properties of that layer all right and i'm not exactly sure how to explain that uh i just know you can't control c control v it doesn't work so you have to actually go control j that's going to create the same uh same layer but a copy and then we're going to drop this down same thing alt clip it to the back all right and now when I go to my actions and I hit blue and I hit play, it's going to change the entire template. All right. Same thing with green. Same thing with yellow. Ain't that beautiful? Ah, love it. Love it. All right. Now, what I want to show you guys is let's, uh, let's go ahead and change. So we're going to delete this one. All right. And we're going to do the same process that we did up here. All right. So again, solid color. We're going to just pick a random color. Boom. And then right click. Convert to smart object. But this one we're going to call color two. All right. And so now we're going to go into our actions. And we're going to go, uh, let's call this uh, blue two. All right. We'll record. And I have to go off of that. So we'll just come up here. Now we'll go to record. Again, as you see, I make that, that mistake all the time. So click on color two. That's how it knows to change color two, not color one. All right. Then we're going to change here. Go through. And let's go pink just to make it different. Same thing, save, close out, and now we've got pink, okay? And we'll do one more. Um, so let's switch off, go back to our actions. I'm sorry, that wasn't blue, that was pink. Pink two. And then let's see, we'll go, let's just go like gray. So gray two, record. So if, if you want this as like an accent color or something of that nature, right? So we'll click here, double click, double click. And then we're just going to come over here to gray. Okay. File save and stop. It's actually kind of cool. I like. All right. So now. If I go into my actions and I click on green, oops, and I click on green, hit play, it's only gonna change the smoke. But if I come down to pink to hit play, it's gonna change the back, okay? So this is very, very important when we're building our spreadsheet, which we're gonna go over next, on how to get this to automate itself, all right? So, but, even if you're not using PixNub, if you're not using Spa, and you just want a quick way to be able to change out these colors, if you set up your templates ahead of time, this is a super, super fast way to automatically switch out these colors just by a click of a button. So hopefully this helps so far. And then give me just a second. We're going to switch into the spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you guys how to how to build this into the spreadsheet so these will automate when you uh, when you run Spa. All right, all right, y'all. So welcome back. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the spreadsheet. Now I'm doing this kind of bare bones, right? Because again, all we're really focusing on is a color change. So I'm not really showing you how to change names, things like that. I've got, again, other videos uh, about spa that are a little more in depth on how to create your templates and get those spa ready as well as the, uh, the spreadsheet. So but it is a little finicky on the spreadsheet. So I do want to kind of go over that. So what I did was I, I very quickly uh, turned our our template that we just made into a spa ready template. So I added the little green guy, all of that good stuff. Okay. Now I've I've got a couple sample pictures here that I've got as my column one spa layer. But what I really want to talk about are these two post actions layer or uh, columns. Okay. So post action one and post action two. The reason I set up two is because we have two separate colors that we're running for this example. All right. Now, how you have to set this up 
is we're gonna go back into our Photoshop real quick. So the first thing you have to do is put in the, the, the action set. So for this, it's gonna be color test, but it could be colors, it could be sports actions, it could be black and white, you know, it, so it's whatever your folder name is. So color test, all right? So we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna type it in and it has to be exact. So it has to be color, capital C, space, capital T, so on, right? Now, the next thing we're gonna put in is that straight up and down bar, that vertical bar. If you're not sure where that is, it's right above your enter key. So you have to hold shift and hit above the enter key. All right, and then you get that straight bar. Now, the next part you have to put in, so now it knows what, what set to pick from, you have to put in your actual action. So we'll go ahead and we're just gonna kind of mix this up just so that way you can see it actually changing uh, live time. So let's, we'll go blue, green, and then yellow. We'll mix it up a little bit. So let's go back to this. So this one's gonna be blue. And then I'm just gonna copy this down and we'll change the colors. So let's go yellow. We'll go back to blue and then let's do green i think was the other one that we had yes and then we've got pink two and gray two so basically we're going to do the same thing over here but because it's still in that color test set we can keep that set so we don't have to change that but we're going to go pink to and tell you what let's let's copy this bring it down here now this i do control uh, C control V because if you just drag down it's gonna make that pink three which is not gonna read as an action so just be uh, be careful of that all right so this one we're actually gonna do gray two and then I'll copy that and paste that all right so now we're just gonna go ahead oops wrong button we're gonna save this so I'm gonna download that as a CSV and then what I'm going to do is put this, so I'm just going to cut this, put that in. I've got a tutorial folder over here. All right. So now I've got my spreadsheet, I've got my sample images, and I've got my uh, data sheet over here as well as a save folder. So let's, let's go ahead and run this, see what this looks like. So again, if you're not familiar with SPA, go to uh, my other tutorial specifically on SPA, and that'll be much more helpful than this one currently. So what I'm gonna do is pick my, pick my folder. This is where my images lie. And my save folder, I've already selected my save. This is also my uh, uh, tutorial file. And <clears throat> then I wanna pick my uh, spreadsheet. Oops, that's not the right one, sorry. We're gonna uncheck that. That's for templates within the spreadsheet. Here's the CSV. All right, so spreadsheet's loaded. Uh, all of this can stay the same. Again, this is just a very, very quick. But uh, the original colors, I believe, were orange. So you can see <clears throat> that when I run this, again, hands off. So when I'm running this, it is still popping the kit in there. If you wanted to change the name, again, go to my other tutorial. It'll change all the names for you because uh, I think I show in that how to do that. But you can see right now, live time, it's actually changing all the colors. And guys, this is fairly quick. So it's not taking that much time to actually go through and change those colors, right? So that's done. It was taking uh, just under six seconds an image. Now, granted, if, if you're doing you know, multiple images or memory mates or, you know, names, the more that you add into it, the longer it's obviously going to take. So don't, don't think, and, you know, type of machine you have, so on and so forth. But here's our colors. So let's go ahead and match these up with the spreadsheet itself. So the first color is the smoke. The second color is the background. So we've got blue and pink. So that was perfect. And then we've got yellow and gray, that one worked, blue and gray, and green and pink. So as you can see, this works out very, very well. So if you have multiple leagues or multiple colors or multiple teams or what have you, you could have this run 
10 different leagues with all different colors or one league with different colors. Let's say it's like an NFL, you know, flag football league and they all have different colors. As long as you know what those colors are and you can put that in the spreadsheet, you can have this change it out. And now you don't have to save multiple templates. And I know someone's sitting there like, oh, right. You know, because we've all done it. We've all saved a green template and a purple template and a, and a yellow template and green and blue and red and, you know, all these different templates. And then you have to make sure you're you know, selecting the right template, so on and so forth. So this is a surefire way of being able to change out those colors all in one batch. Again, set it, forget it, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, your job's done. Get your life back, automate, okay? So if you guys have any questions on this, you know where to catch me. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. We'll see you on the next one.